Hello everyone and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to previews for Young and the Restless, Claire Grace has been freed and is acclimating to life with the Newman family. Claire is also getting ready to assist in eliminating Jordan. Despite his recent behavior, what will happen the next time Adam Newman has a disagreement with his family? Could Claire question her decision-making after hearing Adam's revelations regarding the dynamics amongst the Newman family? Could there be more harm than benefit from Adam's advice? Adam Newman's storied past. According to Wine and R teasers, Adam was once a new Newman. Adam's problems and beginning are somewhat distinct from one another. But Adam might understand what it's like for Claire to join the Newman family and feel out of place. Claire will eventually meet the other members of the family, even though her current priorities include recovering and assisting in the removal of Jordan's threat. I and R teasers, Spectra Sally obstructed. Recently, Adam has behaved himself admirably. Victor Newman is giving Adam one last opportunity to prove himself. Thus far, Adam has been able to collaborate effectively with Nick Newman which is no small feat given the complex dynamics between the brothers. Fans remember Adam attempting to assist Sally Spectra. Victor turned down the notion of adding Sally's business to the Newman conglomerate. Additionally, Sally was enraged with Adam for seeing Victor without telling her. But perhaps this is just one more item for Adam to cross off his list of complaints. Adam may have a meltdown and wish to leave the Newman family behind at some point. Claire Grace's Promotion According to spoilers for The Young and the Restless, Victor intends to set up a photo opportunity for Claire, Cole Howard, and Victoria Newman. Victor intends to trick Jordan into falling into a trap by leveraging the photo op and the article about Claire. Claire's going public, though, might lead to additional issues. What about Claire's former acquaintances? It's possible that Claire will face an unexpected challenge from a member of the Newman family in the future. Spoilers for the young and the restless. Is the Newman family fairytale in danger? The Newman family will believe they can finally sleep after Jordan's defeat. Claire will, nevertheless, finally get to meet Adam and the other family members. Adam might very well run across Claire and provide her a warning about the Newman family. It won't take much for Claire to begin to doubt whether the Newman family truly wants or loves her given her precarious mental state. Jordan's mind manipulation is discussed by Claire, but the Newman family is also well known for it. Therefore, Claire might start to doubt things again after hearing Adam's anecdotes about how the Newman family handle circumstances. Thus, it also triggered Claire's relapse into mental illness. We sense that Claire's trip is only getting started, even though Jordan's departure is quickly approaching. Every I and R watcher has a viewpoint, especially when it comes to the drama they decide to watch during the day. Every young and the restless fan, like us at Soapub, is an opinionated person. For the entire week, from good to poor and everything in between, we watch the show every day. Even though things don't always go as planned, we never give up. Here's I and R's Week in Review, complete with music festival pitches, twisted triangles, and red pantsuits. How this week I'm feeling, Davidson Eileen? This week's Chancellor Business Winters is narrow-minded antics, and scathing words were the highlights of Y and R. Jordan would no longer be employed at the mental health hospital after Victor negotiated for Claire to be released from there. However, I was most struck by Eileen Davidson's performance. This surprised me a little because I'm still trying to figure out Ashley's circumstances and the voices in her head. I find it bothersome that Ashley and Audra are stooping over Tucker, but both over the phone and in person, Ashley said some very terrible things to Audra and Audra threatened Ashley. Audra's admission to Ashley that she wasn't as skilled at dirty play as she was was even more offensive, and it seems like she's having way more fun with it than she should. 
Hello Audra, do you know with whom you are speaking? You poor stupid Audra, shot back a scoff for Ashley. You have to pay a high price for it. This heightens the situation's fascination. On paper, this quote doesn't seem like much. Still, Davidson did a perfect job delivering the words. Audra appeared childlike in Ashley's presence, and I nearly felt sorry for her. Perhaps because Ashley had some sort of mental illness, she had revealed all of Audra's concerns so readily. So far, Audra has been really calm, collected, and collected. Again, the primary reason I find them offensive is that their behavior stems from their purported love for Tucker McCall. I think the guy will never be able to feel true love, which is why I put the term love in quotes. He lacks a soul by practically all measures. I hope we find the answer soon, and I'll keep saying that until we do. Mr. Contrarian, my alias is Billy Abbott, because Mr. Contrarian, that is all he does. He disapproves of ideas from both the left and the right for ideological or personal reasons. Chance's concept for a music festival is quickly approved by Devon, but Mr. Contrarian disapproves of it. Even though Nate's effort at the same idea backfired miserably, Devon and Billy pose for me so much that my head hurts. It's funny, though, that Chance, the new worker, doesn't hold back. He boldly told Mr. Contrarian he was taking a step back. To be honest, I'm not sure if he should support Nate instead or handle it himself. It's also time for Mr. Contrarian to stop discussing Connor's issues. He is not the boy's father, Adam is. Chelsea does nothing more than observe. She did, in fact, yell at Adam and Billy for fighting. But in this case, she should have stood by Adam. Billy has his own kids to raise. Divin, he has his issues, so don't worry. Again, I'll say it. Given that our collaboration ended because of his rejection of Nate's offer, I fail to see why he is in favor of the idea of a music festival. I don't think I've ever worn a proper pantsuit, and I'm not very stylish. But Nikki looked amazing in her red costume from Friday's show. Melody Thomas Scott seemed the most warlike of all the gang. If she's preparing for the impending Crazy Aunt Jordan drama, then I agree. Claire's release, that Claire isn't residing there anymore, is a relief. It was obvious that it was time to move. Growing up, she had always wanted to live on the Newman Ranch. Knowing that she is afraid of meeting her brothers, and that Victoria, and she are now talking about it comforts me. Though it's funny that she mentions the size of the property and her potential for getting lost three times a day. But Nikki says that because of her banishment, she feels trapped there. How? Take a stroll around the thousands or even hundreds of acres of Newman land outside if you're depressed. You don't have to go all the way to the little, historic crimson lights just to see Seth. It was far too short a reconciliation for Amanda and Phyllis. I find their oneness to be intriguing. However, why was the passing of Amanda's mother Naya so quietly discussed? Why had they not had a longer conversation? It appears that their scenes were trimmed way too short. Do you think Kyle plans to go back to Jabat? His appetite for work should motivate him to take more initiative. Does it bother him that Diane is Jabot's co-CEO? I was wondering why, when Mariah confided in Kyle about her life, they decided to have almost all of this exposition go off-screen. When can we expect to see Tessa and Mariah together again? There will, at the very least. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.